Are you being lifted up and sharpened by the right people? Do the people you spend most of your time with make you a better person? Do they strengthen your faith? Are you wiser because of the people you spend time with? Are you more fit? Are you a more attentive spouse? You see, we are molded and shaped by the people we are around the most. The people we hang out with influence how we think, what we think, and consequently how we feel about life. They influence our habits of mind as well as our habits of behavior. We think, speak, and act differently because of our primary reference group, because of our primary associations. As Paul writes in 1 Corinthians, don't be fooled. Bad company corrupts good character. So what do you do more often because of the three people you spend most of your time with? Is this a good thing? What do you do less often because of these same people? And is this a good thing? Here's a question I often ask at our couples planning retreat. Are you, as parents, hanging out with people you'd like your children to be like when they grow up? That's a good one to ponder, I think. And keep in mind this key point. People do not generally punch, kick, and drag us off course. If that were the case, we would be smart, resist, and protect ourselves. Instead, they nudge us off track just a tiny little bit, then a little bit more, then a hair more until the damage is done. It's a tough truth to convey for sure, but like gravity, we must accept it and work in harmony with this principle or become comfortable paying the price for ignoring it. No doubt it's much easier to dismiss today's message, pretend it doesn't matter and just maintain the status quo. But if you're interested in reaching your full potential, it's best to know whether or not you are being sharpened or dulled by the people in your life. This is Tommy Newberry because mindset makes all the difference.